So if you've been using local WP for some time, you should know that each site local manages is given a random port number that looks like localhost semicolon followed by some random numbers. This mode, according to local WP, is the localhost router mode that uses HTTP and as we all know, is the foundation of data exchange on the web. Now, instead of being stuck with HTTP and the default localhost domain, what if you could actually change the default URL to something much user-friendly? And the best part is this comes with a secure connection. So to achieve this, let's open up local WP and from the software dashboard, we've got the site titled as website. And under the overview tab, the site's host is localhost 1004. And underneath it says, HTTPS is not available when using the localhost routing mode. Now let's switch things up from the local host to the site domains by clicking on this hamburger icon to select preferences. And from here you want to switch over to the advanced settings. And right here for the router mode, let's change this from local host to site domains. And apply changes. And that's likely going to prompt a window interface like this to confirm your request. So if that shows up, just confirm request and let's close this up. All right, so once you're back here, it's very likely you'll find this one in at the very top, which says the site URL settings does not match the host set in local. All you just have to do is click the fix button. And that should change the site's domain to that of a standard domain. So if I clicked on open site, it should take us to the domain website.local instead of the previous. But what if we wanted to change this to a .com URL? We can easily do that by heading back to local. And right here, we get the option to change the site domain. So let's do website.com and change domain. That would likely prompt another request confirmation and the site's domain has changed from website.local to website.com. And if I clicked on open site, we should be brought to the new domain with a .com. Now, before we enable the SSL certificate on the site, first, let's make one quick change within local. So I head to the preference settings, switch over to the new site default and change the domain suffix from .local or whatever you find here to a .com. So whenever you create a new domain, we will have the .com set as the domain default suffix. All right, with that out of the way, let's close this up and move over to install an SSL certificate on this site. So under the site domain, we get the option to trust this SSL certificate to bypass the typical browser not secure warnings. So let's click on this to trust the SSL certificate, and there we have it. Personally, whenever I open up the site, I still see no changes from the HTTP to HTTPSS. If this has changed for you, that's fantastic. But if you still get connection not secure, let's fix that by opening up the site dashboard. Hover over plugins, add new, and let's search for the plugin really simple SSL and let's install and activate this. Once that has been activated, right here we see it says an SSL has been detected, which is a good thing. So let's activate the SSL. We should probably log you out of the site, but if we take a look at the site information, we see we've got the padlock on there and the connection is secure. The best part is all of this still works without an internet access. So tell me, have you explored this option before or this is completely new to you? Let me know in the comments below and that should be all for this video. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one.